So we're presenting to you something called the Epistles of Amerigo Mackerel. It's letters. Dear Fiction, I've long had difficulty distinguishing you from faith. I love and believe in Tarzan and Queequeg and Dee Dee and Gogo and Sal Paradise and not knowing in the enormous room. Fiction. I believe in you. I believe what you're saying. I get it. But I don't get the difference. Please, send me a map on the way to get there. Surely, you've a copy. I can return it on arrival. I am a skilled navigator and an amateur cartographer. Please respond in haste, and I shall know you mean what you say. In wide-eyed candor, Amerigo Mackerel. Nature, I've been watching you a long time, all these years, and I'm reminded that everything dies, and nature is neither ninny nor nanny. You are brutal and destructive, beautiful and seductive. There isn't a great deal of kindness. Emotion is largely the truck of humans. Arguments otherwise are tenuous. And we need the concreteness of nature, solidity of silence in science, science in silence. The guppy cousins in the fish tank eat their fallen brethren and cisterns even before they've stopped breathing. Chomp, 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 nibble, chomp, chomp. Compassion is absent. We, the people, are left to decide when we eat the flesh of our fellow ladies and gentlemen. How long can we wait to take what's theirs? The fleshy feast preying on the weak is easy. Deciding to do something else is the difference between us, beasts and bastards. Amerigo Mackerel. This one's very clanky. But this one is clanky, I'm just saying. No, that's not for you. You can't have that. It's too loud. <laughs> Dear Dust, Dancing through light, 
dancing's never been my thing. But let's take a turn. You've covered everything around me. Obscured meaning neath the sediment of advancing entropy. Yes, dust. Let's have a whirl. Sometimes I spin the cat on the floor. He does a fair job of cleaning up, but better a feather duster and a different outfit. But this number is no burlesque. It's cleaner with a rag and some time wiped away and sneezing. Take the cat hair tumbleweed with you. Maybe you can make another cat in the unholy, multi-layered laboratory under the furniture. With a well-developed patina, amerigo, mackerel. Dear Distance, I'm attempting to portray what's between the point at the end of the slender island and the next nearest promontory that passes for solid ground. Sands shift, seas rise and fall, and maps become more accurate, more in depth. There's no space left between the geological features, the topographical face of the land on the sea's skin. Surface features, the face's mappable messages. I'm bridging the gaps in my visions and making maps with unwavering lines. Amerigo Mackerel. Dearest Hope, where to have you gone? Huh? Where'd you get to? Hiding again from all remedy. Oh, Hope. As I remember it, you play a harp. Probably you didn't make your own harp. But if I recall, you can really blow that axe most deftly and adeptly, kindly, if you, too, are a fiction. Mark your place on the map, and I'll stop by on the way. I'll find you easy by the sound of your harp once I'm close by. Intense strings and soft wood curves, Amerigo Mackerel. Dear everything, I've been looking through paper scraps and broken books 
and girly magazines. And I can't seem to get away from you. Everything is everywhere, surrounding the crevices so they're dark, cluttering up the hallway between me and the front door. Oh, only route of escape. Oh, everything. Let me by. Unclasp your clutches and get out the way. I'll be back before you know it. Before the cows, before your program, before the delivery guy gets here. Not that it matters. Everything is everywhere. Yours in mislaid context, Amerigo Mackerel. Okay, uh, at this point, you want to do the one where we read it all at the same time? Or no, we'll do this other one first. Sorry. Uh, wrong way cyclist. Yeah, I like this one. Dear wrong way cyclist, in the fancy new bike lane on First Avenue, you are a dumb fuck. <laughs> Why you'd think long ways straddling the bike lane was the right maneuver, I'll never know. You'd so recently been merely backwardsly traveling in the bike lane. I tried to avoid you. I actually thought you saw me. Until you drifted in my way. And drifted further into my escape path. Luckily, my fairly soft and mostly failing brakes slowed me down enough to keep from killing you and me both. Your friends split as soon as I collided with your front wheel. Your apologies were insufficient and insufferable because of the air earbuds in your ears. <laughs> yes. I yelled at you, and yelled, and yelled, and yelled. The huge bruise and sprocket marks up the length of my calf were painful but survivable, and they're still there. I yelled, and yelled, and yelled. I even asked if you would learn anything. Clearly, you did not. Since you rode away the wrong way on the sidewalk of First Avenue. Like the witless feeble fuck you are. Do not cross my path again. With the utmost contempt, Amerigo Mackerel. <laughs> okay. All right, dear stranger. Oh, we're gonna do that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dear better judgment. <laughs> dear better judgment. This is just to say the bananas you left on the table have turned black and liquefied and run through the crack in the table to form a puddle, semi-viscous on the floor. Neither of us will ever clean up. But that that bunch had of bananas been had been at, despite, despite the, overwhelming the overwhelming aroma, aroma of moldy banana, banana liqueur, liqueur 
and the and cloud, the cloud of, fruit of fruit flies. Maybe I wouldn't Maybe have this horse. I wouldn't have this Charlie horse. <laughs> Maybe someone would have slipped on a mislaid peel. Maybe, Maybe the kitchen wouldn't be such a fucking mess. Such a fucking mess. In seedless regret. Amerigo mackerel. Okay, where are we? But it's short, you know, they're small. It's not very many words. Okay, what's this? Ooh, dear doctor. Dear doctor. Where have you been hiding? I've been looking around, but maybe not in the right when. Well, doctor. If you do house calls, this would be the time for it. Plenty ails me, mostly metaphorical or metaphysical complaints. Wan feelings pass, waxy feelings pass. The wax-hearted hurt crumbles before it melts completely. Doctor, supply your concoctions. Your heady tinctures, your ready wit. Pinpricks of light in time travel. Like stars or phosphorescence in a dark cave. Here and there, then and when. You were back then. Oh, I should say that was a very long time ago. I should say, doctor. There's no medicine you can administer for my complaint. Amerigo mackerel. We're very near the end. We're getting there. Dear stranger, I've been wondering if you're willing to maybe be my friend. There probably wouldn't be any jewelry involved, and you might have to talk to me. Or worse, listen to me talk. But I think I heard you talk, and I'm sure I'd like to hear you talk some more. Oh, stranger, it gets lonely around here sometimes, drawing maps and not getting anywhere on them. I get trepidatious or shy, and good grief, maybe I have a crush on you. But we hardly messed, met, and all I wanted for Christmas was a friend. Stranger things have happened. Amerigo Mackerel. <laughs> Dear Money. Eat me, you rotten bum. You're eating me, bit by bit. Sucking the marrow of my soul, wasting my time. Cracking all the eggs and putting them back in the package. Taking one bite out of all the pickles in the jar. Marshalling the moths into the grains. Oh, money, we're hungry. <laughs> Voracious. Not quite starving, but underemployment plus unemployment do not a lush life make. Perhaps a lush's life. Money. 
arbiter of hunger and concentration. Absence makes the wallet grow fonder, which I guess means when you're poor, you get cheaper. With holes in my socks and pockets, Amerigo mackerel. Mackerel. More mackerel. Make with the mackerel. Let's have some fish. That's, that's a great, there's a Hoagie Carmichael song. Some days there just ain't no fish. Um, that's, well, but there's a great, like, Hoagie, there's a great, you know, holy mackerel bit. And it's, Now, Amerigo Mackerel, he's the guy that discovered the North America, right? Um, that was Leif Erikson. That's right. Dear sir or madam, will you please leave me alone? Please. I am not any of the persons, objects, or concepts your letters have been addressed to, yet sent to my address. I returned some to sender, and you sent them back. Please stop. I don't understand. I don't know who you are. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> All right, we got one more thing. Moonburn. That was the response to all of those letters. <laughs> all right. hey, this is water. <laughs> Cake? You told me it was vodka. No wonder I filled. Moonburn. I saw a Tyrannosaurus Rex in the moonlit clouds. I saw my own face in the clouds. I saw a thousand armies of mosquitoes in the moonlit clouds. I saw the sounds of chirruping frogs and serenading crickets in the moonlit clouds. I saw tears and incantations in the moonlit clouds of the night sky. The clouds sift the light into fertile furrows on my brow. I saw a cosmic jigsaw puzzle in the moonlit clouds. I saw the man in the moon in the moonlit clouds. I wondered if he was a lady. I saw the covers turn back in the bed spread across the moonlit clouds. I saw a Tyrannosaurus Rex in the moonlit clouds. I saw my own face in the clouds. I saw a thousand armies of mosquitoes in the moonlit clouds. I saw the sounds of chirping frogs and serenading crickets in the moonlit clouds. I saw tears and incantations in the moonlit clouds of the night sky. The clouds sift the light into fertile furrows on my brow. I saw a cosmic jigsaw puzzle in the moonlit clouds. I saw the man in the moon in the light on the clouds. I wondered if he was a lady. 
I saw the covers turn back in the bed, spread across the moonlit clouds. So we got. That's it. Happy birthday! Now we're going to type the New Mormon Testament from memory. <laughs> and you guys want to stick around. By the time we're finished, the sun will be coming up and then we'll lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the midnight set. Yeah,